today's the game day edition. You know, Nanini used to play American football. I was a fullback. Although I used to make big blocks on the gridiron, I like to now make my food to be the big hit of game day. So I'm going to help you with four appetizers that you can serve to your football parties. So first is going to be our protein packed Italian dip. And what we need for that is one and a half cups of non-fat cottage cheese. We need two tablespoons of Italian seasoning, half a lemon, salt, pepper, and a trusty blender. So now let's make our protein dip. We're going to take our cottage cheese and put it in the blender. And then we take our Italian seasoning. We'll cut our lemon in half. And we got my lemon squeezer. Leaks out. 
just pull it around. It's just pull. And pop it out. And you go a little more. Because you want to be able to get some nice stuff in there. It's going to be so tasty. Scooping all my zucchini cups. See? And now the onions are just about browning, so I'm going to take my garlic and add that now. And we'll let that heat for a few minutes. And while we do that, we'll do a little dance break for you. This is my touchdown dance. Right. Now the onions and garlic are nice and brown, so we're going to add our turkey ground meat. Gotta wash the hands. That's a nice. And now we'll start this in round, separating the meat using two forks. Alright, I got my turkey meat all flipped over. And now I'm going to take my Italian seasoning and spread it all over. And we'll take our forks and we'll just spread it around. And now we'll add the Himalayan pink salt. And our freshly grinded pepper. And we'll give it a little stir. Make sure that meat cooks nice. So our meat is just about cooked. Do you want to hear a football joke? Which football player has the biggest helmet? The one with the biggest head, of course. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to add our tomato paste. And we'll put that in there. And then your vegetable stock. And we'll stir this around. So we're going to simmer this on a low heat until most of the vegetable stock has evaporated. So this is all ready now for our mozzarella cheese. So we're going to put that in and we're going to leave a little bit for the tops and the cups. Perfect. And now I'll give it a little stir. And once that melts, we'll put it into the cups. So now we're going to prepare our cups for the oven. We're going to spray the pan. We'll put our cups on the pan. And then we're gonna put the put the meat in the cups. And then when we're done, we'll sprinkle some cheese on top. Just like that. So, so we got our zucchini cups nice and filled up with the meat and the cheese. And then we'll take the extra mozzarella and we'll sprinkle it right on top. You can use it on. 
that's a mess. And now we're gonna put this in the oven at 350 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes until the top is nice and brown. So our next appetizer is the spinach and artichoke dip. It's a nice, easy big dish, but its flavor will be a touchdown. So I'll go over the ingredients. So I got my Nanina Special Spice Mix, one teaspoon of basil, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and a half a teaspoon of paprika. One fourth cup of freshly grated Parmesan egg. One fourth cup of freshly grated Romano. One fourth cup of the mozzarella. Eight ounces of light cream cheese. One fourth cup of light mayo. Three fourths cup of chopped frozen spinach. And 12 ounces of artichoke hearts that I diced. Himalayan pink salt. Grounded pepper. And then we'll just put it on in the bowl. So I'm going to take my artichokes. Put that in first. Spread it all out. Then we'll take that spinach. Two main ingredients of this dish. They're like the stars of the shell. Then we need the light. cream cheese and our light mayo parmesan Special spice mix. Himalayan pig salt. And freshly grinded pepper. And now we're going to mix this all in. It's all around there nice. So I got this all stirred up and I'm going to flatten the top out. And then we're going to put it in the oven at 350 for about 20 minutes. And it's going to be a delicious dish. I'm going to put it in the oven now. So we're ready for when we put it into the end zone. So our last appetizer is the apricot ricotta dip. It's going to be sweet like Nanina. It's going to be like your frosting in your cake or your extra point on your touchdown. So let me go over the ingredients. You need two cups of ricotta, one can of apricots, one teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one fourth cup of chopped walnuts, and one fourth cup of honey. So first, we're gonna put the apricots in the blender and blend it all up. And the banana. 
Chuck Walnuts. That's a mess. And of course our honey. Oh, I love the honey. It's good in tea and food. And have some fun. It's going to be such a great football party with all these delicious appetizers. And now we'll put it in the fridge and let it chill until game day is ready. It's game time! Everything's all done. It's delicious, gluten-free, and easy to make to liven your party up with some delicious appetizers. For the protein pack dip, they got the vegetables to go with it. For our sweet dip, I got some dried fruit and gluten-free crackers. For the artichoke and spinach dip, I've got the rosemary gluten free crackers and of course our zucchini cups stuffed with meat and cheese. It's going to be a wonderful game day party. And don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And if you want to see more of my videos, ding the little bell. And don't forget to share me with all your friends and all the food with your friends as well. And don't forget, if Nanina can do it, anyone can do it. Bon appetito. Ciao.